This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Holland versus Allen. You've been together 14 years, and your once happy marriage is on the rocks. And depending on what happens here today is whether you walk out together or this thing goes on over the cliff. Oh. Right. Tell me why your marriage is on the rocks. Well, Yana, I'm here today because I feel like my husband is cheating on me. Okay. And if he's cheating on me, our marriage is over. Mr. Hiram sleeps on the couch right now because I feel like something is going on. And if he's cheating, if he's been unfaithful in any type of way to me, this marriage is absorbed. How long has he been on the couch? For the past six months, Your Honor. What? Six months? Yes, sir. This is... How does it feel to be in exile out there on the couch for six months in your own home? Doesn't feel good, sir, Your Honor, because I try to do everything right, and I do respect my wife, I love my wife, and I do honor our vows. At and... times. So you've been faithful since you've been married? Yes, Your Honor. I don't believe it. All right, so uh, you know what? You all had to have had happier times. Tell me, how, how did you all meet? Oh, well, we met 14 years ago. We went out... I went out to a club that one night. He had a previous relationship that had just ended. So okay. he was grieving Ooh, from a previous Ooh. wedding. Well, well, well. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> So, he actually tried to talk to my friend first. He couldn't get no play with her, so then he come over to my side of the car. So, he asked me for my number, but you just was trying to talk to my friend, so guess what? Oh. Back in the day, it was 14 years ago, I was much younger, body was more banging, more in shape. You fine, so you fine. One, one pocket had the real number, the other pocket had the fake numbers in. So, if I don't like you, you get the fake number in the club. Wait, wait, hold not... on, so... <laughs> wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Oh, she was, wait. she was a baller. <laughs> she came to play. So you who got the game. Wait, so you who got two, the game? You got two phone numbers in your pocket, the yes, right sir. number and the wrong number. Yes, yes. And depending yes, on how the rap came through, you knew which pocket to pull from. Well, you know what, Mr. Keller, I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on... It's true confessions. You don't know this, because I never right. did this to you. <laughs> I was about to say, right. true confessions. <laughs> Let me see back to this. But, you know, I told you my, uh, my going out name was Crayola. Your club name? Oh, my club oh, name. Your club name. That's the name I gave you when I didn't want you to try to ever track me down. Right, right, yeah. right. Being that he went to my friend's side of the car first and then came to my side, I ain't no second prize. I'm first prize. There you go. Me. Why would you come to me second? No. So, therefore, you get the wrong number. How so, did he... Go ahead. I put my whole number on there, but I left off one digit. Oh. So, he had to find me. And so that's your way. If he wants to find you bad enough, he'll call all the digits until he gets the until right he one. Until he get to me. He put his back into it. I, I like that. Did. He did. He was real persistent. So your woman's intuition tells you that he's cheating. Yes. Yes, Your Honor, it does. All right. Tell me what about what your intuition is picking up on. So one day, me and him are sitting down on the couch. He shows me something inside his phone. So I'm looking at it. We're laughing about the stuff that's in the phone. And then he gets up and walk away. So I'm still looking in the phone. You gave it to me. Why not look? So I'm looking at the old pictures. And bam! Here come a picture that's not me. It's not my daughter. It's somebody else, another woman. So I'm oh. like, what is this? Now, what kind product. of picture is it? It's just a facial picture at first. Okay. At first, it's oh. just a facial picture. Okay. I scroll a little further, and then I see other pictures. Body parts, boobs, behind. You doing things to yourself with your hands and... Oh! You know, now, my hair is standing up, you know? So right, I, right. I ask him about the... What's going on? He lies. He said at first, you know, it was nothing. Then he confessed to it and told me that he's been having a... talking to her back and forth over the telephone. And this is all the same woman? All the same woman. Did you recognize the woman? I recognized her because she was at my wedding. So, so why is this woman's naked pictures with boobs, butt, touching herself, whatever, There's all no in your excuse. phone? There's no excuse, but if she keeps saying she don't want me, she leaves me, she's been trying to get away for, like, four years, so when you're not communicate with me, it's not right, but... I get lonely, too. Did, so do I... you know this woman? My ex. You got pictures of your ex in your phone? Naked yeah. pictures of your ex in your phone? Yes, but sir. I can't help... Is that I a yes? But I can't help... Yeah. Yes, but I can't help what she sent me. 
If I just ask for a picture, she's seeing me provocative pictures. First of all, why are you asking for your ex to send you pictures? And then secondly, she had to believe those were the kind of pictures you wanted. Otherwise, she would have sent just a regular, your honor, you know, picnic shot messages. or something like that. A am, I, am I missing something? No. No. I was surprised you took that position, Mr. Cutler, because I thought you were going to say, well, you know, you right, you. You can't help what she do, and I was going to jump you. I was going to get you. <laughs> but you, you beat me to the clutch. I think you're exactly right. I think you're exactly right. Yeah. Ms. Holland, did she communicate with you yes, after? Sir. She yes, sir. She communicated with them. They've been texting back and forth, left and right, communicating. I actually have some of the text messages right here, Your Honor. Right. Can we so see that for no ourselves? We want to see this. You're going through his phone. Yes, yes. And you find text messages from the same other woman. Yes. And this is what she has. Yes. Hello. How you been? We should meet up. I'm more experienced now. I like blank, and I blank now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he says it now, because he said it like this. Oh, yeah. Huh. Okay. That's yeah. how that sounds. Maybe it's been, oh, yeah. I mean... No, no. The, the bottom line is, that was... Oh, OK. I, yeah, he was in duly agreement with noted. That. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, what? that, what, was it, oh, yeah, or, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh. It was, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I like knowing that. Why she, Why do you need to know that she's experienced in blank and blank? Your Honor, my ex always been in love with me since day one. So you are encouraging her by having these conversations. Exactly. Exactly. I can't help how she feels, Your Honor. She loves how me. How you feel. No, you know no, what? Help how I, you I, I, feel. I, I, Not how she feel. You can help how you feel. When well, she I don't sends love you her. text messages, you can tell her then, I'm not interested. Do not send me these type of messages. I'm going to block you. So you can't call me. Miss Holland, I, here's the thing. I know if this was going on, the text messages, the pictures, you mm -hmm. are keeping your eye on him. Yes. You probably like, where you been, where you going, how long you gonna be there? I try. Oh, okay. So how does that not he happen? Works. He works on the weekend. Okay. He'll leave to go to work on a, on a Saturday at 1 o'clock. And then I may not see my husband until Monday morning, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Where do you go? Where do you disappear? I go to work, Your Honor, right? He works security, and they know you securing, have you that gone that many hours. I go to work like that to get away from her. Is why I do it. You feel neglected and you spend all the couch, time... If I'm on the couch, right, I can sleep at work making money, right? She don't say that when she still take the money. But, Mr. Allen, I think you're missing the point. You're not getting off the couch by continuing to do the things that got you on the couch in the first place. Correct. That's Correct. the problem. Correct. Mr. Hiram tells me that it's his birthday and he want to have sex with me. I tell him no. I'm not gonna have sex with you. Have sex with the woman that you've been texting back and forth. Who pictures you were sending you back and forth? He tell me, all right, since you feel like that, I'm gonna tell you what you wanna know then. He tells me that, yeah, I'm having sorry sex with that. her. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna keep having sex with her. We gonna be together and I'm gonna have sex with her for my birthday. I'm gonna have me some birthday sex. Yes, Your Honor. And only because she's not making love to me, she won't talk to me. So you thought that that sweet line was gonna get you in the bed with her? <laughs> no, I didn't think that, but she was done. So I was trying to hurt her like she hurt me. It's wrong. I know it's wrong. I know that's not what you Wherever do, but I Wherever is it right for you to try to hurt your wife? I mean, here's the thing. Y'all are hurting each other. Yeah. And because you all are having such difficulty dealing with this, we're gonna bring in a friend of the court to talk to you, someone who's had experience with cheating because he's admitted to being a cheater and how he was able to deal with that and get past that point. So at this time, the court will call from the Grammy Award-winning R&B group 112, Mr. Q. Parker. Ron, please escort Mr. Parker. Oh. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, and you? Good, well, good, good. It's Glad good to, to see you here. today. You too. You've been open about your infidelity issues in the past, correct? Yes, sir. Can you share with our litigants, you know, how you dealt with that and what issues you faced? I, too, were in your shoes, my hmm. brother. 
Uh, it don't de- feel good, does denying, it? Denying, it doesn't. And I'm, I'm here today, man, to just offer my testimony and my story to you because you have somebody uh-huh. who genuinely loves you. Listen to what she's saying. Uh, I, I, too, was the one denying and all of that. But this one particular day, I had to just connect to my wife's heart. Mm-hmm. And when she said, this makes me feel this way, I'm embarrassed. I don't, I don't know how to trust you. I had to tap into, okay, what does it look like for you to trust me again? What do I need to do to gain your trust right. again? And so my wife gave me a list of things. Right. And it wasn't until I started to give her those things, the guard started to come down a little bit. Her heart started to reopen up again. I know you love her. We know that. But step outside of yourself for a moment. And if you can, picture her heart and what her heart looks like. And I like to say we have to treat a woman's heart like a newborn baby. You don't want nobody to kiss the baby. You want them to wash their hands before they hold the baby. You want to look at them while they sleep and all of those things. That's how I had to learn to look at my wife's heart. Tell Mr. Allen what your rock bottom cheating moment was. My rock bottom cheating moment was being in a public place and looking at my wife's face and seeing the discomfort because she, she wasn't comfortable in knowing if the person next to her was somebody that I had been with. Oh, boy. And, and to be honest with you, that even when I talk about it right now, it kind of makes me emotional because I knew I loved her so much, but I was just immature. You don't want your wife out here embarrassed, ashamed. My wife couldn't even look, make eye contact. She was so insecure. And so watch this. That photo you sent her, you don't even know what's doing, what it's doing to her mentally. Now she's comparing herself to the photo that she just saw. Well, maybe he likes this. Maybe I put on a few pounds. Maybe I'm not what I was when we first got married. Maybe I'm not attractive to him anymore. And that's not a space, man, that you want your woman out here walking in, Doc. You don't want that. Mr. Parker, thank you so much. We appreciate your word. We want you to stay right there because however this comes out, we may still need some more words from you. Well, we're about to find out because this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, we're going to call certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine, is he cheating? (laughs) Tommy Platt. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I've been a licensed examiner for over 11 years and conducted nearly 3,000 examinations. And you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Allen, is that correct? Yes, sir. You asked Mr. Allen, on your birthday, did you have physical sexual contact with your ex? What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Mr. Allen, you okay? Yes. All right. You asked Mr. Allen, during your marriage to Miss Holland, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than your wife? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he said yes. That during a break, he encountered oral sex. Ms. Holland, have you all been on a break since you've been married? Your Honor, we have altercations where I may tell him I don't want to be with him for the situation that we're going through, but we're still legally married. So there's no such thing as a break. You said some things that I don't like, I said some things you don't like. So let's cool off for a minute. It's not a free fall. It's not a for you to go out and sow your royal oaks. She put me out of the house, so I guess we was over. I thought we was over. Okay, but wait a minute. We have your court papers here that you signed, and you specifically said, over the past eight years of our marriage, no break has been taken at all. You signed this. Right, You but... signed this document that says that. But, like I said, I feel that way, but if I'm out of the house, is that a break? If she put me out of the house, is that a break or not? You know what? Let me answer that question real definitively. If you marry, 
you marry. Exactly. Period. Exactly. I don't care what. Exactly. And, 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 and married folks talk about we was on a break. I'm like, a break from what? You don't get a break from a vow. You all have been married for two years and together for a total of seven years. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, Shana. Ms. Laurent, why have you brought your husband to court today? Your Honor, because I have found countless messages to different women on his phone and his Facebook. And I'm just to the point that I'm not at a breaking point. I'm broken. And I need help with my marriage if this is going to continue. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Laurent, what are you here to prove today? I'm here to prove that, yeah, I entertain females on social media, on the sense that when I come home or something from work or want her attention, she's always in her phone. And it's like, it gets to the point when I'm talking to her about my day or trying to communicate to her, she's in her phone. She doesn't give me the attention that I asked for, and she makes it seem like wow. now that we've been through our situations and we hatch things out, it'll still be a point where it's getting thrown back up again. All right, so you admit that you're talking to other women and entertaining other women on social media. Yes. But you contend that nothing yes. else is going on. Nothing else. My phone now lately, I haven't had no codes on my phone. She can get in my um, Facebook account at any time. Are you saying that currently there's nothing going on? You've had no physical relationship with these women? Nothing. And, and I believe she know that off the strength that when I work and come home, I I'm tired. Ms. Laurent, it doesn't look like you're buying this. Tell I'm me not buying it. I have. So you believe he's cheating? I know he's cheating. Ooh. What does that feel like, love? I'm hurt, because I get this man all of me. Not some, not part. I get him all of me. And I don't feel like he appreciate me as much as I appreciate him. So what you're saying is today, everything is on the line. Our whole life. Your whole life is on Our the line. Our whole life. I came for help. And if we can't get no help, it's just over. Like, he's a continuous liar. He is a manipulator. Like, he lies beyond the point. Like, he making me... He turning me against myself. Yeah. Like, he made me think, like, I'm crazy or yeah. it don't happen like that or you didn't see that. Like, I'm crazy or Jeez. something. It's clear that this is a relationship in trouble. But also, it couldn't have been this way all the time. You all have been together seven years. There must have been something at the beginning. What did it look like in the beginning? We was Bunny and Clyde. <laughs> All right, tell me yeah, what that means. Honestly. Like, we Go was ahead. just, I don't know, he's the man to me and I'm the woman to him. Like, we just, when we met, it was kind of like love at first sight. Like, okay. I love this man, still do. He act like I don't give him no attention, Your Honor. I don't give him attention because he entertain the other women. All my right, so you my time. And, and to that point, I entertain my phone on. because my phone is more entertaining than him. My phone's not cheating. My, my phone's point. not lying. I play games. I, I, All right, let me say something I, right I, here. I, I, when you say it, Mr. Laurent, well, she's not giving me any attention, so I'm going and getting it from somewhere else. Two wrongs don't make it right. Just because she's doing something that you don't approve of doesn't make it right for you to do something that is absolutely not appropriate. What are you getting emotionally from these women that you should be trying to get from your wife? Just to be able to vent about the situation, because some of the most of the time they're they're in a situation where they can understand where I'm coming from. I feel like if I... What I'm not giving him at home, what your sex sometimes, because I don't feel like he deserve it, he has no problem with going to look for it. Mr. Laurent, is that true? That you go outside your marriage no, bed? Very. No. I don't go outside my marriage and look for sex. When I try to get intimate with her, she, oh, you're a hornball. All you want to do is have sex. Slap. No. Wait a minute. I understand she's saying no. What I'm asking is you going to somebody who's saying yes. That's the question. No. No. Because if yes. that's the case, I would be. No, happy you wouldn't. With being no, no, I would no, be happy no. to be single. Them, no. You don't get to do, do that. what I do. You don't get it to ain't do that. It's about laying up. I take care of him. I'm a woman about my house. All right, Miss Laurent, has he admitted to being with any other women? Not until we came here. He make it seem like everything is before me or everything is senseless. But if it was senseless, I wouldn't be finding deleted messages. I wouldn't be deleted. What ha What has he admitted to? He don't admit to nothing. He just said I did it. When she asked me a certain question, have I talked to this female? Have I talked to this female? Yes. But at the time of me admitting it to her right then and there, her angry and mad, I can't come at her like that. I have one question. It's a yes or no question. Have you been with another woman sexually since you've been married or with Miss Laurent? Ma'am, can I clear this question up for you? Listen. No. This is a yes or no question. 
I have, ma'am. Huh? I have. At the you time, have. At the time that she put me out. At All the right. Time that she so we were over, and okay. we we're still legally married. So all right. So let me yes let me let me make sure I got this. You had sexual relations with another woman since you've been married. However. It was when you all were having a break. Yes. And so, in your mind, your relationship was over. She put on social media and tell everybody else in the world that she's single, we're not together. And, and so, and based over. on that, you Are act you? like a single man because you thought she was acting like a single woman. Yeah, and she tells me she's gonna talk to other guys and do other guys. Hold on, Lyle. One more, one more question. Wait, wait, wait. One more question. Other than that one time during your break, have you been with another woman sexually? No. All right, so you got the one. I have... She knows about the female, but I feel you, Honor. He got mad and then threw her in my face. It ain't like I just knew he got mad and then started sending pictures to my phone of the girl. That's how I found out. No. He took this up to the casino and all out of town, and they never even took... No, took, took me to a casino. June 3rd, he left at, like, 10 o'clock at night, said he was going out with his friends. Bam, I didn't call this man. I didn't text this man. I let him enjoy his little time. I got in the bed and went to sleep with my baby. So, he gets in the bed. It's kind of find out it's like 3.30. About 4 o'clock, his phone go off. Okay, wherever you just coming from, they trying to make sure you okay. So, I get the phone. He dead sleep. Go through the testes. It's this girl in there, Yana. She was like, why you left? He was like, oh, because I want to have sex. She was like, but I told you the kids was here. He was like, okay. So, then, when I did get the phone, it was question marks. So, basically, I guess she was questioning him, like, is you coming back or not? Okay. It wasn't in a text was saying me saying to her I wanted to have sex. And, Your and Honor, I have messages of him from, telling women he thinking about her. them. She you should be thinking about me. Like it's me. You have messages? Yes, ma'am. Of him texting other women on Facebook. I'd like to see that, Ron. Please, would you get those? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Y'all, see, I'm not with the. Hold on, tat. hold on, Mr. Laurent. You could be tit for tat. That's what we came for, cause you ain't got nothing on me. All right, this is Mr. Laurent. It says. Thinking about you. Hey there. How you been? Let me get back to you after I get out of work. But I've been amazing. You know that, man. Your wife will flip. She see my name. We've been through this. Wish we could be friends. I'll send you my number. And he did. Okay. Did All you, right. Did you have this exchange with this woman? Yep, and we was on the outs. We was He was standing in my mom's house with me. How are we on the outs? Not with that message. And so, did you have any sexual contact with this woman? No. And the crazy part about it is my wife was putting out there that we're not together on social media. When we be on bad terms, yes, I do say we're not together. I'm not gonna claim you and you right here laying up with her and her. I do okay, but here's the deal. There's another message here from a second woman. And she says, we tried that before, and you left your phone for her to get, and then I had to answer my phone when she called, and she, it was a mess. You suck. And then you respond, not with her. Okay. Your Facebook say different. Thank you. Because I don't... So I, he I, don't I, claim me to then. I know, ma'am. When they say my Facebook says different, it's because when I get in an outing with my wife, I don't change my name or change my relationship status or post to the world that I'm not with my wife. You she just does act that. out that no, you ain't with just, your wife. He just do it. I don't do anything till I see her doing it and posting it to the world. Please tell me you don't have any other instances that he is being unfaithful to you yes, right now. Yes, ma'am. He be having scratches on his back and his chest. And he say it come because he got eggs and, and he scratch his stuff. But you please, both of y'all, reach around and try to scratch y'all back in the middle. Do it work? Yes. Do you have eczema? Real bad. And she knows that she can see my chest, my stomach, my back. She been with me seven years. She know in the summertime how bad it gets when I'm okay. sweating, how bad it gets. She knows that. And it itches so bad that at times I don't know that I'm itching it that well, hard. Well, how are the scratches getting in the middle of your back? I can reach the middle of my back. It hurts Let, that let bad. Let me see that. Let me see, let me see. see that. It, it itches that bad, and that's how I get oh, it. Oh, like, I get it. I get it. My chest, all that. I get okay. it. Miss Laurent, if but the proof is in the pudding, he can scratch the I back of his nails. back. I got nails. I got nails myself. I can't, I can't do... I don't think I can See, I can't that. either. I can't get it like that. I can't... I don't know. You that, need... That's what he say? But Listen you don't cover. believe him. And then I have people coming to my house telling me that my husband been riding around with this woman, riding around with this woman. He didn't got caught in the car with one of my close friends' brother, girlfriend. I talked to the boy and asked him himself. I said, why would you take that to my wife? He said, I didn't tell your wife nothing. My sister told her. 
Well, were you in the car with this guy's girlfriend? Because she gives rides, yes. And what I- kind of rides? <laughs> okay. All right, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. Right. She gives that, yeah. that bad yeah. question. Yeah. What kind of ride were you getting? Yeah. What kind of ride did you get, Mr. Laura? It wasn't four in the morning either. It was. I- you, don't, it, 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 you can yeah. ride all time oh, today. Oh, don't, yeah. We don't, we don't have a vehicle at the moment. So it was like, if I need a ride, I, I might text her or call her. But I asked her boyfriend or, or her mother in law or her mother in law. Is it all right? And most of the time, the mother-in-law's in the car with us. All right. Uh, Miss Laurent, I see you brought a witness with you. Yes, sir. Uh, who is your witness? My mom, Nicole Terry. Okay. Uh, Miss Terry, can you tell the court what you know about this situation? Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's Here we go. Um, one day, okay. he asked to use my phone, so I let him use the phone. He went on Messenger. He didn't never log out a Messenger on my phone. So about... Maybe a week or so later, my messenger rings. I'm like, this ain't for me. This is the first time. So I called. I, I called my daughter from downstairs and told her to come up here real quick. We get upstairs. He texts the woman on messenger. We reading everything that he texts her because it's showing up on your phone. Oh, so oh, what did he say? So yeah. what did he, he say? He basically was like. Um, telling the lady about, um, she's supposed to be giving him some money or when he gonna see her, she can come pick him up from my house. Mr. Laurent. Respond. I don't know the message or the situation they even talking about. I don't even remember ever using my mother-in-law phone to do any kind of texting. I'm, I'm, cause he's trying to make me like... Okay, all right. I love you, I'm not trying to make you a bad guy. Mr. Laurent, I love him like he my son. And he can tell you and you know... If you wrong, I tell you you wrong. If I like wrong, son. she I tell her she wrong. I don't I All right, uphold listen, both okay. of one of them. We've heard enough testimony. In order to get to the bottom of this, this court is ordering you to take a polygraph examination today. <laughs> right now. Yeah. You are gonna leave this courtroom, go take that examination. Yes, ma'am. And you will return here, and we will look at the results at that time. Yes. Ron, would you escort Mr. Laurent out right now? Yes, sir. We are in recess at this time. The court has now reconvened in the case of Laurent versus Laurent. In our prior session, the court ordered a polygraph examination of Mr. Laurent. And we now have the results. The court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Williams into the courtroom? Mr. Williams, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? How are you? Mr. Williams, you had an opportunity to conduct a polygraph test of Mr. Laurent today at the court's order. Yes, ma'am. You had some questions you asked him. Yes, ma'am. The first question, did you have sexual contact with the woman with whom you were in the car? What was his response? His response was no. What did the lie detector show? The lie detector showed that there was a significant physiological response to that question, which indicated to me that he was being deceptive. I didn't... I I did not have sexual relationships with this woman. And I I don't... Did you have sexual contact with the woman? If you kissed her, you fondled her, you did everything but have sex with her. Did that happen? Yes, but never sexually with her. I knew you was with that girl. I will... Man, whatever! Sleeping with her? Please! Next question. Sleeping with her? We'll go to the next question. That wasn't even a question. Man, whatever. Next question, please. Mr. Williams, the next question was, other than the one time you admitted to cheating, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women since you have been married? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this particular question, there was significant physiological responses, which indicated that he was being deceptive. I admitted to... I admitted that I have. 
I admitted to that I had. So you confess that you've had yes. sexual relations other than the time that yes. you admitted to. But you said no when she asked you earlier. You want the truth. You a liar. You're mad about the truth. I'm mad because you took me here to lie. It hurt me to see her so angry that even her mother just, like, leave him, and I'm trying to show her that, babe, like, I don't want to break up my family over no females, and I've been doing everything in my but power But you didn't fail every question. Down. Mr. Laurent, if you want to save your marriage and you want to save your family, you should have stayed away from those other women. Yeah. It's, it's that easy. <laughs> if you can't keep yourself under control then you need to stay away from women and keep yourself out of situations where you're gonna do the wrong thing. 